Madam Speaker, I am happy to inform the House that the Cabinet has approved the National Health Policy 2017. It is a huge milestone in the history of health sector in the country. The Health Ministry has formulated the National Health Policy 2017 under the guidance of Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji. The last National Health Policy was framed in 2002. So this policy has come after a gap of 15 years to address the current and emerging challenges necessitated by the changing socio-economic, technological and epidemiological landscape. The Government of India adopted a highly participative and consultative approach in policy formulation process. The National Draft Health Mission Policy was placed in public domain and over 5,000 suggestions were received. This was followed by consultations with the state governments and the other stakeholders for further fine-tuning of the policy. The policy was placed before the Central Council of Health and Family Welfare, the apex policy-making body, and was unanimously endorsed by it. The policy informs and prioritizes the role of the government in shaping the health systems in all its dimensions, investment in health, organization, and financing of healthcare services, prevention of diseases, and promotion of good health through cross-sectoral action, access to technologies, developing human resources, encouraging medical pluralism, building the knowledge base required for better health, financial protection strategies, and regulations to progressive assurance for health. The policy is aimed at reaching health care in an assured manner to all, particularly to the undeserved, uh, un to the underserved and the underprivileged. The policy aims for attainment of the highest possible level of health and well-being for all ages through a preventive and promotive health care orientation in all development policies and universal access to good quality health care services without anyone facing to face financial hardships as a consequence. This would be achieved through increasing access, improving quality, and lowering the cost of health care delivery. The broad principles of policy are centered on professionalism, integrity and ethics, equity, affordability, universality, patient-centered, and quality of care, accountability and pluralism. The policy seeks to make a way for sick care wellness with the thrust on prevention and health care promotion. Madam, before this, the policy was for the sick care health policy. Now we are making it preventive health policy, promotional and preventive health care policy. While the policy seeks to reorientate and strengthen the public health systems, it also looks afresh at strategic purchasing from the private sector and leveraging their strengths to achieve national health goals. The policy looks at stronger partnership with the private sector. As a crucial component, the policy proposes raising public health expenditure to 2.5% of the GDP in a time-bound manner. The policy advocates a progressively incremental assurance-based approach it envisages providing larger package of assured comprehensive primary health care through the health and wellness centers and denotes important change from very selective to comprehensive primary health care package, which includes care for major NCDs, mental health, geriatric health, palliative care, and rehabilitative care services. It advocates allocating major proportion, two-thirds or more of resources on the primary health care. It aims to ensure availability of two beds per thousand population distributed in a manner to enable access within the golden hour. In order to provide access and financial protection, it proposes free drugs, free diagnostics, and free emergency and essential health care services in public hospitals. The policy also assigned the specific quantitative targets aimed at reduction of disease prevalence, 
incidents under the three broad components <coughs> a health status and program impact b health system performance and c health system strengthening aligned to the policy objectives some key <coughs> targets that the policy seeks to achieve madam this policy is not a, just a policy statement it also commits itself that we will try to see to it that these targets are achieved within the time limit and time bound policy has been made accordingly like the first one is life expectancy and the healthy life increase in life expectancy at birth from 67.5 to 70 by 2025 b establish regular tracking and disability adjusted life year index as a measure of burden of disease and its strength by major categories by 2022 reduction of total fertility rate to 2000 2.1 at national and sub national level by 2025 mortality age the reduce under 5 mortality to 23 by 2020 2025 and maternal mortality ratio from current levels to 100 by 2020 reduce infant mortality rate by 28 by 2019 reduce neonatal mortality to 16 and still birth rate to single digit by 2025 reduction of disease prevalence and incidence to achieve this achieve global target by 2020 which is also termed as 1990 90 for hiv aids that is 90% of all people living in hiv know their hiv status 90% of all people diagnosed with hiv infection receive sustained antiretroviral therapy and 90% of all those people receiving antiretroviral therapy will have viral suppression b achieve and maintain the elimination of leprosy by 2018 sir madam we have targeted that by 2018 we will eradicate leprosy kalazar by 2017 and lymphatic paralysis uh, and endemic pockets in 2017 to achieve and maintain and cure the rate of 85% in new sputum positive patients of tuberculosis and reduce incidence of new cases to reach elimination status by 2025 so we are talking about elimination by 2025 to reduce the prevalence of blindness to 0.25 per 1000 by 2025 and disease burden by one third from the current levels to reduce premature mortality and cardiovascular diseases cancer diabetes chronic resp rep uh, respiratory diseases by 25% by 2025 madam we have started the universal screening for blood pressure for diabetes for cervix cancer for breast cancer and for oral cancer 100 districts we have taken this year madam this policy focus on tackling the emerging challenge of non communicable diseases it supports an integrated approach where screening for most of the prevalent ncds with the secondary prevention would make a significant impact on reduction of morbidity and preventable mortality we are sure to achieve these targets with the active participation and collaboration of the states the policy envisages a three dimensional integration of ayush systems encomp encompassing cross referrals cross location co location and integrative practices across systems of medicine this has a huge potential for effective prevention and therapy that is safe and cost effective yoga would be introduced much more widely in school and workplaces as a part of promotion of good health to improve and strengthen the regulatory environment the policy seeks putting in place systems for setting standards and ensuring quality of health care the policy is patient centric and empowers patient patient for resolution of all their problems madam this is a shift from the old policy we are making it patient centric now we will develop the standards what is the protocol how the treatment has to be done and if the treatment is not done accordingly the tribunals will be set up to take care and the patient will get redressal from that 
So this is a shift from there, there where we are committing and we are making the patient uh, uh, empowered about the uh, redressal as far as the uh, treatment is concerned. The policy also looks at reforms in the existing regulatory systems, both for easing manufacturing of drugs and devices to promote Make in India, as also for reforming medical education. The devices, at this point of time, we are importing 70%. We are going to uh, uh, ease out the regulations so that the, we can make it in Make in India program and see that the devices are made in our own country. The policy has its center the person who seeks the needs of medical care. The policy advocates development of cadre of mid-level service providers, nurse practitioners, public health cadre to improve availability of appropriate health human resources. The policy also seeks to address health security and make in India for drugs and devices. It also seeks to align other policies for medical devices and equipment with public health goals. The policy envisages a time-bound implementation framework where clear deliverables and milestones to achieve the policy goal. This policy I put before the House and I, I feel that this is going to make a difference in the health